All right, welcome anatomy and physiology students. This is just a quick review of the connective tissue slides from lab. Just a reminder, while you're looking at this, you should also have your wish list from our website out so you can see exactly the structures that I would like you to see on each of the slides and not anything else that might happen to be labeled. So we're going to start here with this areolar connective tissue. This is that generic jelly-like connective tissue. That's a space filler that supports blood vessels and nerves throughout the body, it's um, just under your skin. And um, it's a smear, a jelly-like jelly -like tissue that you can just smear across the slide. And what you can see on here is all the elements of a typical connective tissue. You can see the thicker collagen fibers. They're lightly stained like these ones here, but they're much thicker. You can see the reticular fibers that are also made out of collagen but the very thin fibers that the cells tend to use to orient within the tissue you can see fibroblast cells these are the elongated cells that are actually sitting on a collagen fiber like this one here this one here that's likely a fibroblast maybe in this one here this might be a fibroblast here so those are fibroblasts sitting along the thicker lightly stained collagen fibers and then you can also see a variety of immune cells the smaller rounded cells that are dispersed throughout the tissue and aren't really appearing to sit on any on any of the thicker collagen fibers so that's a typical nice uh, um, areolar connective tissue. The, the publisher claims to, that maybe uh, these are elastic fibers because they're kind of a curly Q look to them. Uh, maybe that's so. I'm not sure if I'm convinced by that, but that's there as well. This is a, an adipose or fat tissue with the large fat-filled cells in, in it. This is low magnification, and you can see some of the collagen fiber matrix that the cells are dispersed on. Remember, this would be a loose connective tissue. Here you can see it much closer up, the big um, cells, fat cells with their cell membranes around them, some cell nuclei uh, that would be out on the edge of these cells, and the, most, most of the cell filled with the... Um, and the whitish material inside the cell would just be the fat tissue itself. And you can see in many places some of those collagen fibers. Those would be reticular collagen fibers that orient the cells in the tissue interspersed throughout the cells. This is now a more typical reticular blood forming or uh, white blood cell holding tissue, a lymph node. And you can, from under low magnification, really see just, just what looks like kind of a lot of cellular material in there. And if you look more up close is where you can nicely see all of the very tiny lymphocytes or white blood cells or what all the little black dots are in there. And just to get an idea of how tiny they are, realize this is at 1,000 X magnification. And you can see all those tiny lymphocytes in there oriented on the reticular fiber connective tissue matrix, which if you look kind of like it almost starts to appear, these thin, dark stained collagen fibers just interspersed throughout here. If you look more and more, you begin to see that they are absolutely everywhere in the tissue. So that's a typical reticular connective tissue with the reticular fibers supporting, you know, the whole world of tiny little lymphocytes in this case. This is now a dense regular connective tissue, uh, a piece of tendon. Uh, this is, might be the most typical thing we think of with a connective tissue. You have lots of collagen fibers all lined up along the length of the tissue here, and you can see the numerous fibroblasts that would produce those collagen fibers. This is a nice view of it, and this, I think, is an even nicer view where you can clearly see the collagen fibers lightly stained running along the length of the slide here, and then the fibroblast cells interspersed there. This is now a dense irregular connective tissue, and again, this is probably the dermis of the skin, and um, the, the region you're looking at is up in here where you can now see collagen fibers but running in all different directions, and if we look up close, you can again see how those collagen fibers are running in lots of different directions, making it an irregular dense connective tissue, but the collagen fibers are packed in quite you know tightly, making it a dense connective tissue with a lot of fibroblast cells interspersed throughout there. Um, this is an elastic connective tissue, probably from the aorta, uh, the big blood vessel that comes off the heart, that every time the heart beat, it has to have some elasticity to expand to receive that blood as the heart pumps. And so you see lots and lots of these curly or wavy elastic fibers in there made out of elastin um, uh, along the length of the slide. So that's a typical el elastic connective tissue. It's not collagen, so it stains a little bit differently, which is why you see that real dark color to this elastic connective tissue. There it is under lower power, again, the elastic um, connective fiber, the elastic fibers running along the length of the tissue. So that's it for the connective tissues. I'll remind you again to please use your wish list to be sure that you're looking at exactly the structures I would like you to know. Enjoy.